joining me here today on Blissfully Soulful. It is a beautiful, gorgeous day here in my backyard, so I am bringing some blissful good vibes from my home sweet home to you. Before we begin, if you could click the subscribe button, that little red box that says subscribe, we can stay connected and I would be grateful for that, so thank you. All right, let's just go ahead and stand tall. This is gonna be a quick practice. We're gonna get invigorated and we're gonna like the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? down in my heart where we're gonna ignite that joy within so go ahead and stand tall lift onto your toes and back onto your heels wiggle your piggies align your ankles knees and hips have a neutral spine you hear the birds chirping they're always so happy in my backyard I love to hear the sound of the birds lift up lower down and then align your ankles knees and hips have a neutral spine slight tilt to your pelvis we're going to engage, lifting energy up through the balls of our feet from the earth. Point kneecaps up. We're going to engage at that pelvic floor, lifting through the perineum, back through the sphincters, lifting the navel back to the spine, point up through the sternum, expanding through that heart center, drawing shoulders down and back, point chin in, reaching crown up. Palms forward, staying in anatomical positioning as we close our eyes and take a big inhale through our nose and a big exhale through our mouth. And just meet yourself where you are being here in the present moment. If your mind feels distracted and it's swirling and whirling all around, just really feel that breath as it flows in and out. Connect to it. An equal part breath on each inhale and exhale. Maybe inhale for a four count, exhale for a four count, or inhale for a six count or an eight count, exhale for the equal part. And feel that mind-body connection as you allow yourself to come into the present moment. Feeling that rhythm flowing within And then bringing our hands at heart center, being intentional in our practice as we awaken the joy that is at the seat of our soul, living authentically in our truth, happy and healthy. Being intentional in this space on our mats today, honoring where we're able to work, modifying where needed, practicing self-love, self-care, through our movements, energetically moving, swirling around our mats, and just honoring that space that we're in. So let's go ahead and begin lifting arms all the way up. Lengthen through the spine. Tuck that pelvis, bend in those knees, sit deep into your chair. Shoulder blades down and back. And just little pulses into your thighs. Lift into your toes. Sit your butt back. Do not push your knees forward. So that booty goes back, the bottom goes back. Press, 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 and press. Breathe in, breathe out. You got four more. You got three more. You got two more. Sit deep and hold it. Bring your hands to heart center prayer. Take a big inhale, lift. Lengthen, reach it. And have a seat again, tuck that pelvis. Sit deep, shoulders down. Pulse, pulse, lift the toes. Bottom back, bottom back, not knees forward. Press, press, press. Shoulders retract down and back. Breathe in, breathe out. Sit deep, little pulse, inch down, inch up. You got this. Just breathe in, pulse, igniting that fire. Deepen those thighs. You have four more, you have three more, you have two more. Your last hand sit deep, hold it, tuck that pelvis, breathe in, breathe out, then lift it right back up. Lengthen, reach, lengthen, reach, then bring it right back down. Have a seat, tuck the pelvis. And little pulse, little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Breathe in, breathe out, pulse down, pulse up, pulse down, pulse up. Breathe in, breathe out. Hear the birds chirping, singing their happy little tune. Feel that joy igniting within your soul. You have four more, you have three more, you have two more. Last one, sit deep in, hold it. Tuck that pelvis, hold it, lift in those toes, hold it. Press those toes down, hands to heart center, take a big inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Shake your head, lift your heels. Find that movement, rocking those hips. Move the body side to side, sway side to side, heels are lifting, hips are rocking. Hold it center, hands to ankles, lifting the tailbone. Press into the toes and balls of your feet. The tailbone goes up, head goes down. Then lift up halfway, tabletop the back. Lengthen the spine. Smiles on our faces. And then bring it down. Squat deep monkey pose. Step it back to downward facing dog. Our first down dog. Head on your heels, shake your head. Rock it out. Hold it center. Bring it out to plank. Round into your upper back. 
tuck the pelvis, shift your weight forward. Breathe in, breathe out, pull the navel in, hold, hold, hold. Pull that knee wide to your side. Hold it, hold it, press it in, press it in. Hold, 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 if you need your bottom knee, find it. Kneel on it, press it back, then pull it, switch other side. Pull that knee up, hold it. Find that bottom knee if you need to. Pull that knee up, lift a little higher, round that upper back, press it back. Then switch and switch, switch and switch. Knees wide, knees wide, switch and switch. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to alternate with those knees, you can alternate on those knees. Breathe in. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold and plank. Round the upper back. Shift the weight forward. Drop to those knees. Come all the way down. Shoulder blades down and back. Cover the hands. Blue toes, even the baby toes, to the mat. Little pulse, little pulse, little pulse. Just waking up the back. Reach the arms back. Reach the hands back. Then knees side to side. Reach for the baby toes. Side, 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 side. Breathe in, breathe out. Got four more, three more, two more. Last one. Center, hold it, lift it. Reach those arms, pulse them in, pulse them in. Pulse, 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 pulse. Make sure you're not hitting your bottom. Lift those arms high. You got eight, you got seven, you got six, you got five, four, three, two, last one. Bring your hands down at your chest line. And then press it upward facing dog. Round into your spine. Press in, pop off your knees if you can. Lengthen your spine, knees are always there for your modification. Then rock it. In those shoulders, in those hips. Break anything up that feels stagnant. Then press in a little deeper, lengthen in the spine and the neck. Smile. Then lift your hips, downward dog. You're gonna lift your heels. Squat into your thighs and little pulse. Little pulse, little pulse. Then straighten those legs. Left leg goes up. Stack in that hip, lifting that knee. Gaze through your armpit. Hold and breathe. Release it center. And left leg goes up. Kick it high, bend in that knee, stack in that hip. Lift it up, gaze up through your armpit. Bring it center. Bring it back center, shift your weight. Pulse into those thighs, gaze between your hands. This is your prep to get yourself to the top of your mat. Just squat nice and deep. Then little micro steps to the top. Where you can squat deep, take one big step. Where you can squat deep and take a hop. Take a big inhale, lift. Hands come prayer. We're gonna come into the breath of joy. Before we continue on, building that joy, joy, joy in my soul. So we're gonna come right here, the breath of joy. You're gonna fill up the lower portion of your lung, the middle portion, the upper portion. So it's a inhale, 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 and then out your mouth. Big exhale all the way down. It looks like this. Last one. Big inhale. Arms to heart. Arms to heart. Heel to the feet back together. Just feel that blissfulness just tingling all around us. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale, fold. Surya Namaskar. Take that right foot back. Left leg forward. Drop to that knee. Press that hip in. Walk that foot forward. Press it in. Lengthen the spine. Then reach the arms. Eyes to the sky, shoulders down, press in, so this front knee and ankle are in alignment, front toes forward, back leg, knees down, back foot flat. Then release the hand, straighten the leg, forehead down, lift the toe. 
Sit it back. Hands come down, take that leg, kick it back. Press it in, reach opposite arm, opposite leg. Pull it in, reach, pull it in, and reach. Spinal stability, pull it in and reach. Pull it in, reach, and, and reach, and lengthen. Reach and pull. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, so I'm gonna length that back, hold it. Hold, 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 really press in. Don't sink into your hip socket, really press out. Knee and hip are in alignment. This arm expands, back leg lengthens. Press into that left hand. Pull the navel in, gaze over the edge of your mat. And then hand comes down, elbows tuck in, chin, chest down, leg goes up. Then bring it down, cobra pose, cover your hands, hold it. Then press it in, upward facing dog, tricep dips. Press, 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 press. Four, three, two, last one. Ooh, good restored. Hope I get this in before the rain comes. Lift it up. Downward dog. Right leg kick. Bring it through. Drop to your back knee. Press in that hip. Walk that foot forward. Knee and ankle line up. Press it in. Sit deep. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach the high arms high to the sky. Then hands come down, straighten that leg, forehead down. Walk those fingers forward, lift in the toes. Sit that tailbone back, straighten that front leg. And then come to a runner's lunge. Step that back, left foot up, take a big inhale, reach, find your chair. Lift it up, find your fold. Left leg goes back, right where you were, drop to that back knee, working in reverse. Press that hip forward. Walk that foot a little further forward than you did last time. Getting a little more depth. Reach those hands high to the sky. Press it in. Breathe it in. Release it down. Straighten that leg. Forehead down. Walk those fingers forward. Bring the forehead to your knee. Then bring it back. Take that leg. Kick it back. Opposite arm extends. This is my left arm, right leg. Elbow and knee pull in, reach it out. Pull it in, reach it out. Spinal stability. Bring it in, bring it out. Reach and pull, reach and pull, reach and pull. Four, three, two, last one. I want you to lengthen, I want you to hold it. I want you to reach in, I want you to activate everything. As you press, you breathe. You squeeze, you lengthen, feel the strength, feel the length, feel the stamina and the endurance, building at the same time, engaging all the way down from the ligaments, the tendons, the joints, the cells, the molecules, all that goodness inside. Then hands come down, elbow tucks in, chin chest down, leg kicks high, gazes forward, then bring it down, cobra pose, hover the hands, glue the toes to your mat, smiles on our faces. Press in, press upward dog, round into your spine, tricep, tricep, press back, press back, press, 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 press. Tricep dip, tricep dip, four, three, two, press up, hold it, round in that spine. Lift those hips, downward dog, left leg kick, kick it high. Bring it through. Uh, on Johnny Asana, walk this foot a little further forward. Press into that hip. Press in, press in. Then reach those arms high to the sky. Deepen in, shoulders down. Then straighten that leg, fingers down. Lift those toes, sit the tailbone back. Breathe in, breathe out. Then come to a runner's lunge. Then step it up, take a big inhale, find your chair, lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Bring it out to plank, elbows track in, chaturanga, shoulders and elbows line up. Long spine, if you need your knees, find them. Then flip your toes, upward dog. Try not to let your chest hit or your tummy hit. Keep that positioning with the shoulders and elbows on the knees. Hopefully, it's in it, but try not to fall down. Keep the strength. 
and the length. Press it up and you can push onto those knees if you need. And it's way push up to press back to down dog. Or you can eliminate the push up and just go straight to down dog. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat in the sides, micro little steps for one big step for a big hop to your top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Two more, lift, fold. Monkey pose, tabletop that back, gaze is forward, step it back, down dog. Bring it out to plank, elbows track in, full extended or kneeling. Chaturanga, have a hold, flip the toes, upward facing dog. Push up, down dog. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, micro steps, one big step, or one big hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift and fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Lengthen the spine, the legs, the arms. Then shift it out, plank pose. Track the elbows in. Chaturanga, hover. Flip the toes, up dog. Push up, down dog. Take a breath. Check in. Wind your feet. Opposite hand, opposite ankle. Gaze to the armpit. Up to the sky. Lengthen. Then release it. Switch sides. Left hand, right ankle. Gaze to the armpit. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring it center. Hold it. Heel toe those feet back together. Lift the heels, gaze between the hands, squat to your thighs, micro steps, one big step, or big step, or hop to the top. Bring it up, find your chair, lift it up, hands prayer. Alrighty, here we go. A little addition to our flow. Hands to heart, right leg hits, press it out, balance, hold it, just hold it, hold, 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 then bend, bend it up, hold, 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 kick it back. Right leg back, left hand down. Balancing, ah, half moon. Those toes stay forward. Try to line those fingers with your toes. Two or three fingers is all you need. Hips stack. The last thing to go up is your gaze. Stack those shoulders. You know, last thing to go is your gaze. You may find some days you're better at it than the others. Some days you're lacking it. Breathe it in. Breathe it out, then step it back. Whoop, warrior one. A little topsy-turvy there, and it's okay if you mess up. Ankles are in alignment. Front toes, left toes, 12 o'clock. Back heels, right toes, about 1.30. Rotate the hips and torso to the front. Arms are high, lunge it in, shoulders down. Breathe it in, get a little deeper. Then open up warrior two, that back foot turns parallel to the back foot, front knee and ankle stay right where it's at. Expand to that heart center, shoulders are down and back, lunge a little deeper, center those hips. Take a breath and close your eyes. So allow yourself to be fully here in the present, letting go of what is not allowing you to be in a space of joy. We all have childhoodish things, any triggers, any traumas, any healing that needs to go on. It could be something little, it could be something big. Just whatever it is, just take this opportunity to let go of what's holding you back from living in a state of true joy and happiness, being content, finding that inner peace, that inner knowing. In that space of awareness, we can awaken to our bliss. Let's lunge a little deeper, find our side angle. Hand comes down, reach that arm high to the sky. Shoulders are stacked, gaze is up. Now if you can't get your hand all the way down, it's okay. Just do your best, put your hand to your thigh. But if you're here, try to get down because we're gonna take the under leg and we're gonna step it back. Side plank, in your side plank. Reach that arm up, you're gonna walk your legs to the front. Switch it, drop that hand down, bring it around. Walk it back, bring it center, walk it around. Lift your hips, downward dog. Take that left leg. Kick it up. Pull it out wide to your elbow three times. One, two, plank pose. Kick it back up. And then three, plank pose. Kick it up. And then bring it through. Flip yourself around to the back, crescent lunge. Sit deep in it. 
Hold and breathe. Press and lunge, back heel is high. That back heel is our left heel. Our right toes are forward. Sit and deep. Take a breath. Then bring that left back knee and lift it up. We're coming into a butterfly movement. So our hands are gonna come at your heart center, connecting to that current in our space, lifting that knee. This butterfly movement is energy movement. Going through a metamorphosis. So we're tucked in our cocoon right now. We're gonna break out, we're letting go, we're expanding in our consciousness. It's lift, lift, lift. It's hard, it's challenging, but you're moving, you're busting out, you're flying, you're soaring, you're free. Hold it, then bring it right back in. Do a little more work, tuck it in, hold it, stay facing this direction, then kick it out, reach it up, expand it out, keep that leg around, working in all areas, press it back, lengthen, hold, breathe, palms are up, and then pull it right back in, contract in, tuck in, hold it, breathe through it, then reach up, expand out, kick it out, release and let go. Feel the growth, feel the expansion, feel the healing. Embrace the metamorphosis, reach it, hold it, breathe right through it. And you're gonna take that right press across it off the mat. Arms are gonna come behind your head. Little pulse, little pulse. Pulse it down, pulse it down. So this is my right leg, toes are forward on the mat. I'm gonna crisscross, curtsy, lunge. Crisscross, crisscross, hands behind my head. Pulse it down. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. So deep hold it. You're gonna rock it. In those hips. In those arms. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. Breaking up anything in there that we're holding on to that does not serve us on our path. Breaking free from the paradigm. Limited beliefs of blame, of shame, guilt, of fear. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, hold it, sit deep, reach those arms, straighten both legs, exhale, hold, forehead down. Then walk your hands around. So reach for that back ankle. If you wanna crisscross those hands, you can. If you wanna keep same hand, same leg. Crisscross, hold and breathe. You can crisscross those arms as well, or just hold with same leg, same hand. Now release it, step it up, standing split. Kick that leg high, forehead towards your knee. Leg is up, forehead to knee. You can take your hands to your ankles if you choose. Balance, gazes at that toe. You just wanna work on the split. Bring the leg higher, forehead closer to your knee. Wherever you are, hold it. Breathe, balance. Engaging the mind, the body, and the spirit in this balancing posture. Then release the hands. Take that leg, kick it high. Then bring it, tree pose, side plank. Reach it up, hold and breathe. Lift that hip a little higher. If you need to modify, place that foot down in front of you and lift in that hip. Reach it up, hold and breathe. Lift, lift, lift. Bring it through, kick that leg out to the front. Walk it up, reach it up, lift it up. Hold and breathe. Bring it back, kick that leg through. And as you lift it up, you're just gonna step it up, tap the top of the mat, press into those hands, then kick it up. Bring it and step it top of the mat. Then press it up one more time. Step it top of the mat, press into those hands, and kick it up. I go through your chaturanga. You can do three-legged chaturanga. We're traditional with your foot down. You can find your knees. Do your three-legged, bring it out. Chaturanga, up dog. Push up, down dog. Hold and breathe. Left leg kicks, stack your hip, lift in that knee. Bring it through, goddess pose. Center in those hips, pulse into those thighs. Pulse it down, pulse it down, reach the arms out. So you're gonna side step, side step, plie, side step, side step, plie, tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, 
finding that lateral movement, energetic movement around our mat helps break us free from any entanglements we have holding on to. It's through energy, releasing, through physical movement, through breath work, through mindfulness, being intentional, being in a meditative state, we link our breath with our movement. We have four or more. That's where transformation happens. Three more. Two more. Give me one more. Center, hold it. Sit deep, sit deep, hold it. Expand to the heart center, hold it. Pull that chest forward, hold it. Drop a little deeper, hands to heart. Tuck your booty back. Drop it down deeper. So butt and your knees are in alignment. Elbow and knees are not resting. Throw out to the side, pressing forward, sit deep. Then walk around, opposite hand comes down. Press this hip forward, walk this foot further forward. Lunge into a feel that rotation, reach that arm high to the sky. Press in, breathe it in, smile. Woo! Now you're here. You wanna to try to go upside down. We're gonna work half tripod, half leg up. But if you can't get your leg up, it's okay. So you're here. This leg is going to come into a tripod onto this arm. So you're gonna come into a tripod. So your inversion may look like this. Your knee is down, head is down. On that knee and kick that leg. This may be your inversion. Other leg, three-legged dog. With the knee resting on this arm. Your head is down. That leg is here. You want to start to press it up. Press it up. And it's pressing that knee. Maybe just barely touch that knee to the tricep. So you point that toe up, point those toes up. You do not have to get up. Your toe can stay down. Leg can stay down. You're on that head. You need your knee. On your knee. Kick that leg. Do your best. If you can't do any of it, it's okay. You can also work with both legs right here. I'm going to hold and you try to with both legs. This is always not as well. Being upside down. And hold for four, three, two. And then wherever you are, come out of it. Step your feet up. Nuzzle your tiny down and find your garland posture. Hands at heart. Pull your chest forward. Hands at prayer. If you can't get your heels down, it's okay. The further apart your feet go, the deeper you can go. So pull your tailbone down, chest forward. Hands at your heart center. Reach that right arm out, left arm up. Hands to heart, switch sides, reach it out. Hands to heart. Then we'll take a big inhale, lift arms all the way up. Hands to heart. You'll toe those feet together. And then other side. Left leg lifts. Hold it. Kick that leg. Hold, hold, hold. Balance and hold. Three shoulders down and hold. Lift that leg higher, hold. Then pull that knee in, tuck it in. Then press it back. Left leg back, right hand comes down. Fingers, line them with your toes. Try not to be way out to the side because you want to really want to work on balance. So that two or three fingers, hip stack, shoulder stack. The last thing that goes up is your gaze. You'll find it better on one side versus other. We are balancing the left and right hemispheres of our brain, working into the molecular as well as the energetic and magnetic parts of our body through our movement. Hold and breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Then step it back, warrior one. Get deep, so ankles are in alignment. Right toes forward, 12 o'clock. Back heels, line with your front heels so that toe turns out. It's about 11.30 on this side. You lunge deep. Rotate the torso and shoulders towards the front the best you can. Lunge deep into it. Shoulders are down. Do not shrug. Sink in, deepen, then open up. Warrior two. Expand to the heart center. Scapulatory retraction. Stand down, deepen down. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Again, that inner working. Those layers, those encasements we build around our soul. The inner child, the inner bubbling of joyfulness and blissfulness is in there. We've kind of encased that child through experiences, through the narrative, through the story that we hold on to. 
Let's rewrite, remap. Let's release what isn't working for us to hold on to anymore. Find healing and transformation and forgiveness and love and joy. Let's find side angle. Your forearm can rest to your thigh. Your hand can come all the way down the inside as you lunge a little deeper. Now wherever you are, if your hand's at your thigh, try to work your hand down and take that leg, step it back. You're in that side plank, but we're gonna walk our legs towards the front. Then you're gonna drop your hand down, rotate, flip it other side, side plank, walk it other side, walk it back. Find your center, place your hand center, press it back down with dog. Get that right leg, kick it up. Pull it out wide, plank pose. Kick it up, pull it out wide, plank pose. Kick it up, pull it out wide, plank pose. Kick it up, Woo. good job. So kick it all the way through. Walk your hands around to the back, crescent lunge. Your right toes your front toes. Sit nice and deep. Into that crescent. Back leg is long, front leg is strong. Gap of toes. Retraction through your back. Engaging those bondage, the pelvic floor, the navel, the chin, the three energetic main rocks. As you breathe in and breathe out, feeling the alignment, stay a little deeper. Then take that back foot, step it up, pull it up. Hand crosses over. This time do the other hand as you did the last hand. So this time our left, right hand's underneath the left hand. This time right hand down with the left hand. Pulling that knee up, stay facing the back direction. I'm just gonna show you here. You're gonna lift, lift, lift. Coming out of that cocoon. You're expanding your conscious. You're healing, you're transforming. You're bringing out that metamorphosis. You're flying, you're soaring, you're free. Holding that freedom, living that bliss. Smile, own your authenticity. Ay, ay, ay. Then pull it back. Hands to heart. Lift it up. Expand out. Rotate that leg around. Feel that full energetic movement. Press that chest forward. Lengthen that leg back. Palms are up. Stand steady. Stand strong. Be empowered in your truth. Feel that inner knowing. And then pull that knee up one more time. Awakening that consciousness within you that is your truth. Is in a space of love and harmony with all that is. The truest you as you breathe in that authentic love that you are. Expanding in joy. Breathing in, breathing out, and crisscrossing. Arms come up behind your head. You're in this curtsy. These left toes are forward. Back toes crisscross. We're in those hips. Hands behind your head and a little pulse, little pulse. Pulse it down, pulse it down. Breathe in, breathe out. Pulse down, pulse down. Inch down, inch up. Breathe in, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe out. Hang in there. You have four more. You got three more. You have two more. And your last one, sit deep, hold it. Then fasten those hips. Rock it out, rock it out. Our hips are large, storage, centered. Come on, break up any fragmentations that we're holding on to in there. Any limited beliefs. These stories that don't fit our truest essence of self. Come on. Designed to be enjoyed. We're designed to be happy. To have that fulfillment and prosperity. Help yourself. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it. Then straighten out both legs. Reach those arms up. Exhale, fold. Forehead to your knees, then walk around, crisscross. Take that same opposite hand, crisscross and hold it. Or you can crisscross those arms and reach through. So your legs are crisscross and your arms are crisscross. Or you can just have your hands just reach for the closest leg. Work in a space that pushes you out of your comfort zone, but keeps you safe. Breathe in, breathe out, hold it. Then release the standing split, kick the leg high. The leg is high to the sky, forehead to the knee. You can take one hand to the ankle. Relax your toes, spread them wide, find that foundation. Then you can take both hands to your ankles, gaze at your big toe, that distri, that focal helps you balance. 
Lift that leg a little higher if you want both hands down to get that leg higher. Forehead towards the knee. Honor where you are. Then step it back. Kick it up. Tree side plank. If you need to find your toe down in the front, you can. Or you can balance in that tree. Lifting the hips high. Gaze is up. Balance, breathe. Hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Remember, you can always push that foot down if you need to. Hand comes down. Rotate around. Kick that leg to the other side. Lift in those hips. We'll reach it up. Breathe in. Hold it. Press in. Hold it. Then bring it back. Kick that leg. Center yourself. Then step it up. Both legs straight. Tap towards the side of that foot to the hand. Then kick it straight up. Just do your best. Kick it out wide. Step it up. Then kick it up. One more. Step it up. Hold it. Press it back. Kick it up. And then go through a three-legged chaturanga. Your traditional chaturanga, fully extended or kneeling. Push up. Back to down dog. Take that right leg. Kick it high to the sky. Stack in that hip. Kick it high. Bring it through. Open up. Goddess pose. Sit deep. Pulse it down. Toes to the corners. Pulse in. Pulse in. Sit deep. Sit deep. Breathe in. Breathe out. Open up and hold. And side step. Side step. Step. In step. Step. And step. Side step. Side step. Toes turn out. You got this. Feel the breath with the movement. Feel that harmony of peacefulness, of tranquility, of your well-being. Feeling that state of cohesiveness and that heart space with love, with joy, and with peace. Last two. Last one. Hold it center, hold it down, sit deep, hands to your heart. Now push your butt back and sit deep. What we don't want to do is rest our elbows and our thighs. That's cheating ourselves, right? But we want our butt and our knees lined up. Pulling our chest forward, tabletop in our back, pulling our navel in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Breathe through it. And you're gonna walk around, right hand down, left leg forward, press it in, rotate left arm up, shoulder stack, gaze is up. Feel that revolution, internal cleansing breath as you breathe. Then the hand comes down. Walk it, that legs on the outside. Again, trying that tripod. So this is a funky version of a inversion. So left arm, left knee hugs, drop to that right knee. You're gonna come down on your crown. Lift the left toe, balance that forearm on to your knee on the forearm. Then your left leg straightens if you can, balance on those hands. If you need to bring both knees in, you can for a tripod, or you can kick that right leg up. Bring those left toes up, keeping that elbow on the forearm. Do your personal best. Have pillows around you if you're afraid. You have a wall you can go to and practice on if you're afraid. But don't allow yourself to not try even if you're not legs up, it's okay. Your head can be down. Your knee can be here. Your head can be down just like this. Begin to work on lifting this toe up. You gotta start somewhere. Engaging the, the bondage, the powerhouse, pressing into the arms, the entire body's active. Wherever you are, come down. Walk your feet up to the top. Tailbone goes down. Sit deep in our gar garland pose. So toes are turned out, heels are down. Maybe take your feet a little wider if you need to. Your heels do not have to touch. You can be up here if you need to. Heels can be up. Just honoring where you're able to work. And every time you practice, sometimes you may find you take a couple steps back, sometimes you take a couple steps forward. We're gonna take our left shoulder, right arm, reach, smile, say ah. Oh. And another side, reach it out. And again, say, ah. And then bring hands back to heart. 
Take a big inhale with arms all the way up. Hands to heart center, heel toe, those feet back together. Take a big inhale, exhale, fold. Squat deep and have a seat. Shake it out, lift tall, exhale, fold. Deepen into that fold as you breathe it in. Expanding, lifting the leg, left hand to right ankle, right arm goes back, lift it back, lift that left ankle off. And just reach and balance, balance and reach. Release it down, hug the knee, rotate, revolve. This elbow can come on the outside of that thigh, get a deeper rotation. This back hand can reach around and grab for that thigh. Release it, switch it. Take a big inhale, right arm, left leg, rotate, revolve, lift the bottom leg, expand it, reach back, back. Toes are pointing, reach it back, reach it back. Then release it, drop that knee, pull it in, rotate, revolve. And then again, if you want to take this elbow and place it on the outside of your knee, you can. And if you want to take this hand behind you and reach for that thigh, you can. Levels for you to grow. And then release it. Come seated nice and tall. Pull your chest forward. Hands come down. So taking everything we just did, all the energetic movement we did, swirling around our mats, balancing, engaging, breathing, flowing. Let's just allow everything to manifest into our being as we take it all in. Just take it in. Just allow it to settle in. The space of grace, the space of gratitude. Saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a big inhale through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. Bringing hands to our heart center in this space. Igniting that joy. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to sit. And I'm so happy, so very happy. Feel the joy, joy, joy in your heart. <laughs> I can't carry a tune, but I feel that joy, so I hope you do too. So wake in it, feel it, dance in it, breathe in it, and go out and shine it bright into the world today. Take a big inhale, reach arms up to the heavens. Exhale, big inhale, exhale, big inhale, exhale, and may you live blissfully soulful today and always. Namaste. Mwah.